Hello everyone. Okay, I've got another cool guitar to show you. This is my latest um, Nautilus. This one is made with Tunnel 14 Redwood. Cool. And um, this exceedingly nice set of uh, Koa that I've been holding on to for a long time, waiting for the right commission to come along to build it. This stuff is, it's as close to perfect as Koa gets. Uh, Koa is, you know, it's, it's very beautiful and passionate wood, but it, it like bends itself into kinks and has little knots and weird things shooting off in the grain. Um, this stuff is super even. There's a 16th of an inch curl throughout the entire back set without a single flaw. In fact, the only flaw in the whole set is a little, I don't know, I guess I call it a beauty mark right here on the uh, lower bout, little dark blobby thing that is typical of Koa, but um, that's it. Um, and this Koa is very, very, a very nice, dense set. It was very ringy. Um, and I say, I think it almost has sort of like a rosewood quality to it. Um, so the Nautilus. Um, I've made other videos about Nautilus. I fear I'm going to repeat myself here, but uh, the heart and soul of this instrument is the fact that it does not have, that it has an offset sound hole and is not X braced. It is radially braced. Um, the offset sound hole allows me to use the entire top, minus this little shoulder, obviously, to vibrate. Um, an X braced guitar has a hole right here. A normal X brace guitar with a sound hole in the middle has a hole right there, and the X brace basically amputates the two top two third the top third of the soundboard. It doesn't vibrate. It doesn't contribute to uh, the amplification of sound. Whereas this thing, man, you get this whole baby going, and it really, really produces a lively, large, uh, rich sounding instrument. Um, some of the things, some of the niceties to make it super playable are um, an elevated fingerboard. It has this elevated fingerboard which serves a couple of purposes. Um, one is that it gets the fingerboard up so where in combination with this very deep cutaway, you can reach up to the 21st fret, no problem. Um, you know, there, the old, the traditional 12 fret guitars without a cutaway you can play to the 12th fret. Maybe you can go up to your G above there. And that's it. But there's a lot of, uh, there's almost a, as much of an octave here as there is here. Um, so there's a lot of stuff up here that, that doesn't get used in an ordinary guitar. So this makes this sort of nice and high performance. It gives you a lot more range. Um, <clears throat> for comfort and for beauty is a cutaway. Uh, is a um, arm bevel and a back bevel. So these are just uh, basically softenings of the edge where the binding swells out. Um, I, it's my intention to make these as subtle as possible. I want to soften the overall look of the guitar, but I don't want some big gruesome thing hanging on the side of the guitar. So this is I'd say it's about three eighths of an inch wide here. Now here's the deal. <clears throat> the whole idea of the name for the Nautilus came from this shape here, which is um, I, what I hope is a very fair curve, um, a tightening circle, um, a curve that is sort of found in nature, like um, on a Nautilus shell. This sound hole, the the this is the hardest thing I've ever built um, in any trade doing anything. These things are really hard to make because they have to be just perfect. And this is actually made of three pieces of ebony um, that are laid in there and joined together. And it, it comes from, your, uh, from a regular piece of binding here, which is 80 thousandths of an inch thick, and it thickens up to about three eighths of an inch. It thins and there's, it thickens here and there's a chamfer that is reflected down here. So what this ends up being is like half of a, of a Mobius strip. Half of eternity right here on the guitar. 
Um, and I don't know. I'm pleased with it. Uh, the sides where this is uh, cut away here, you might say, oh, no, it's so fragile. But it isn't. Uh, these are laminated sides. Uh, they're really, really strong. It would take some serious um, malevolence to break this right here. It's very strong. And in addition to which, there's a carbon fiber rod tucked in underneath here that goes from the neck block down to a receiving block here on the side of the guitar. And this ensures that the neck won't torque over time and push the top of the guitar down. Um, there's only one here because on the other side, I have this huge box structure of the cutaway, which provides ample strength. Here's a kind of a cool thing. Oh, oh, another thing about this guitar is that it's multi-scale. So it has a 26, a 25-4 long scale on this side and a 24-9 short scale on this side. That is why the frets are skewed, the nut is skewed, and the bridge is skewed. Um, they go like this. And this allows you to have a big brassy bottom end and still have the sweet fatness of a short scale uh, treble. Uh, what I was going to say is here's a cool thing. Jim, who ordered this guitar, um, sent me an ammonite to inlay into the headstock. An ammonite also having that same shell quality as the uh, Nautilus, the Fibonacci, the Golden Mean, all that. Anyway, it was... It's kind of a humbling thing when you take a fossil of a thing that's millions of years old and you sand it down and <laughs> glue it into your guitar. Maybe presumptuous, but I'm trying to do it honor here. It gets a lovely frame to live in. And, um, you know, when you're doing that, you're thinking about, well, you're thinking some pretty deep thoughts, let me tell you. Um, oh, and then I also put a little tiny ammonite here in the back. And this is um, for thinking shallower thoughts, obviously, because it's much smaller. Um, what else can I tell you? I'm not going to tell you anything else. I'll just play it. All right? Finally. Um. <laughs> So there was a little um, manic tour through various musical styles there. I never know what I'm going to play when I, when I sit down. So um, that's part of the experience, I guess. Uh, well, I hope you can hear through the little speakers in your device and the little cheap mic here, how open and full and fat and lively this guitar sounds. Um, you know, I... 
every guitar I build seems to be my favorite, which um, by definition can't happen, right? How many superlatives can you have? You can have one. But let's just say it's a temporary superlative. This is currently my favorite guitar in the world. Um, <laughs> it's so fun to play. It's so full. It's so responsive. And there are no flat spots. There are no jangly outliers that go, no wolves, no sheep. Um, really sweet guitar. Uh, I don't know what else I can tell you about it. Um, I don't know if I need to. I've probably gone on long enough. Uh, it was a real pleasure to build. I just got back from a 30 day vacation, the longest vacation I've ever taken as an adult. And, um, it was weird and it was fun and I didn't do anything. And then I got back and this guitar was still, it had been curing while I was gone hanging um, but it was unpolished and unassembled. So it was really fun to get back into the shop and put together a guitar and get the, the immediate reward of playing an instrument, which believe me, is like my favorite part about this. One of my favorite parts about this job is putting together a guitar and making it make its first sounds. Um, when I first started out, that was occasionally discouraging. Now they're getting pretty consistently good. So it's always like really a, a happy moment when I hear the first barrel. And when I tune up that first A string, I can hear its voice, you know, I can hear the box. I can hear it. I can hear that, by the way, while I'm building it, by the way, my hands rustle. I can hear it in the wood when I start. It's, it's just this cool, like sixth sense that you start to develop after doing this for a while. And um, you start to be able to anticipate. It's like getting a sonogram of your, uh, of your baby and your wife's belly you know what it's gonna be like a little bit it's gonna have some characteristics you can't control but um i'm very proud of this child so <laughs> Thanks very much.